Hello, I've got a net galley book to talk to you about today, and it's Mad Honey by Jodie P. Cold, and it comes out beginning of November. I I was getting so good at this, and I failed to put down in my little book when it uh, comes out. Pretty sure it's either the end of October or beginning of November, but it will be in the description box down below. This one. Um, the premise sounded absolutely fascinating. A mother finds her son accused of murder. He, he f picks her up, uh, phones, Mum, I need help, Lily's dead. So that is the start of it. Sounds super. And you've got Olivia, a single mum. She's escaped a, an abusive marriage and has started a new life with her son, Asher. And... Um, she makes a living keeping bees. There is so much in this book about bees. It's fascinating. Usher is final year of school. He's, they're about to start, you know, they're looking for colleges to start in the, the next year. He's a supportive son. He's a good student. And he's a star hockey player. Then he meets Lily and he falls in love. Lily has just moved to the town. Um, she's a newcomer to the town. Her mum, again, she's at the, lives with her single mum. And Asher finds her dead. He's, he's discovered with her dying. Okay, so this is where the book starts. You know, he, he's discovered cradling her as she's dying. So he's accused of murder. And you don't know whether he did or he didn't. You've got Olivia not knowing whether he did or didn't. She trusts her son. But then she wonders, could he possibly be like his father? You've got all sort of these sorts of things. And then you're leading into the, the courtroom drama. And I love courtroom dramas. And that's the first half of the book and you are so hooked and hooked and hooked and then there comes a twist. Halfway through the book there comes a twist. I'm not telling you what the twist is because the twist is so fundamental to the book that if I told you about it, it would absolutely ruin it. So if you want to know what the twist is, go out and buy it. But the twist, it shouldn't have spoiled it for me. But it did because the second half of the book, for me, I felt it was preaching. I felt that there was so many lectures in the second half of the book running alongside the court drama that it that it stopped it being a five star. If it hadn't have been for the lectures, if we'd have had the twist and just carried on, it would have been a five star. But for me, it was lecture, lecture, preach, preach. And although I was invested in the characters, although I kept reading because I wanted to know the result of this court case and what went on, there was that, it was irritating to be preached at every now and again. But, but that was me. You might not find it like that. The book is told in two voices. You've got Olivia's voice and you've got Lily's voice and they're told alternate chapters. And what I particularly liked is that Lily's voice, she tells her story backwards. Oh, and I thought that was a fascinating way of doing it. So each time we hear Lily's voice, it's going backwards and you are learning more about Lily. Which I absolutely loved. I loved that bit. Oh, what I did forgot, that I forgot to mention right at the beginning is that this book, it's written by Judy Picold and Jodie Picold and Jennifer Finney Dolan, Dol Dol sorry, Jennifer Finney Bolan. So it's a collaboration. And one woman wrote Olivia and one woman wrote Lily. But there were some intermixing. But um, you read, read the afterword of this book. There was so much in here that I loved. I loved the character of Olivia. I love the relationship with her brother. The love affair between Lily and Asher, I, I thought was really touching. 
I like the structure, the structure of Lily telling her story backwards. And I love the bees. Right at the end, you've got all the recipes that Olivia uses. But I didn't like the lectures and the preaching in the second half. So I hope I've whetted your appetite. Um, for me, there was just a little bit too much preaching. If they'd have just stuck to the story, I, I'd have been quite happy. But that is um, Mad Honey by Jodie Picoult and Jennifer Finney Bolan. Comes out either the end of October or the beginning of November. So pick it up. Happy reading and bye.